in the video since there is a requirement from the school as well, right? So be ready for this and uh, the thing will be recorded, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so be careful with your camera. <laughs> Be, be ready for this, right? That uh, the thing will be recorded and will be uploaded to the Google Classroom as well. All right. <clears throat> oh, sorry, Disha, my computer don't have camera. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, only 16. Okay, the one who just missed uh, the class today, they will also miss the quiz, right? And uh, I hope that you just go through and see something in the uh, Google Classroom. Yeah, we're still 15, come in and go out. <laughs> okay, did, did you see my screen? Yeah? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here, what uh, we have to do, we can say like uh, all the main cost material is just on the top of this one, right? And you can see the cost syllabus. So cost syllabus actually recently updated it. So you just go and see it there, read and uh, you, you can see what, what week and what section that we have to do. You can see the information from this one as well. Okay, and the textbook and workbook, you can go and see and download it in case that you don't have your copy. But I, I strongly believe that everyone should got it from uh, okay from from your your last semester. I think your textbook there. Yeah? Okay, but you you can try. Some of you still cannot come in, right? <clears throat> okay, so right now I think uh, this time maybe you can try even though you use your personal account or even PPIU account for a while. And as it is, maybe you can learn and try to deal, it, to deal with it by using uh, PPIU account, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, she still cannot <laughs> enter this one, right? Okay, so yesterday, okay, here the tape script about unit seven, unit H, and currently, uh, yesterday I should upload one more document about the guideline for, uh, for minor assignment, you can see, we will have three minor assignments that uh, this assignment I will let you do like a, a recording right? about the, uh, uh, sorry, a re re reflection paper. So you will write and reflect based on that guideline. And anybody have gone through this one yet? 
Anybody here? No, sir. No, okay. So, okay, so after this, I will talk briefly about this one. And you can read those whole document as well as you can watch the PowerPoint slide in session number three and number four that I have talked on the slide with the over voice. I record it as, uh, and export it as a video there. So you just click here and you can go and click on here. You, you can see some more explanation, right? Okay. okay. I don't know what other problem with this one exactly. That some of you still cannot come in. Okay, so in short one, every week time we can say you just go and try to do or read something about the instruction and you will see what we are going to do, all right? Like uh, last session, I just want everyone to read the course syllabus and assessment, so what we are going to do and practice to uh, manage exercises about uh, Take your grammar on page 62. I read grammar reference on page 147 and 49. Okay, and see the PowerPoint and start doing exercise number one to number three in the uh, language focus in the textbook. Okay, on um, page 63 then. Here's a slide, you can see it there about the video. Okay, and here what we have uh, recorded and <laughs> as a Zoom uh, last time, right? So for the one of your master class, you can go back and see those things and then everything there. All right. Okay, so what we have to do in uh, section three and four for today, right? So here are the instruction. So you have to practice exercise number five to number six of discussing grammar in the textbook on page 34. Just continue, right, this one. And just listen to uh, practice math by, by uh, listening to tape script 7.7 .7 and answer question number one to number eight in, in exercise number four. Uh, getting married in the textbook on page 65. And next, you read, read and practice exercise number one, number two of uh, spoken English that talk about other question form. Okay, on page 65. So everything here, just what you want to do offline. Okay, uh, read the article about mid uh, the keepers and do the exercise number one to number four as well as exercise in the vocabulary work in the textbook on page 36. So today, you can say today, you have to practice and do all these things, all right? Number one, two, three, and four. This one is just taken from last time that I put it together, but right now we just separate it into uh, two different weeks in here, all right? Okay, we still have slide, but slide, this slide just talk and discuss about minor assignment. But on every other you like uh, the quiz today, right? Today. So we can say as the, the uh, video meeting today, you will you will go through the uh, quiz. You can say that the quiz will have about twenty minutes for you to do. So it will start from seven seven p.m. So start from seven. Uh, the quiz will be post posted and assigned you to do. So from seven to seven twenty, when the time is uh, the, the time is run now, the quiz is just finished. So what you have done. Or you cannot do it on time, so you will lose the mark for this one. All right. So, 
Okay. So, Mr. Kun, I just have to have the student that cannot come in. <laughs> okay. So, any question about this one? No, teacher. No, right? So, we, we will discuss briefly about my no assignment after this. Uh, teacher, for the quiz one, who missed this quiz? Uh, do they can uh, um, do it later, teacher? Actually, uh, for the online here, normally is the messages. <laughs> they they just miss it. But but in case uh, we just wait and see if uh, as in for you can say the first time since some of them may face the problem, I I will let them do other section. But but not the same question here. I, I will assign special for those who uh, miss the thing today. For example, like uh, a few of you right now, which is in the uh, in the uh, Telegram, they keep trying to come in. So those are, those are the thing that they can accept for them. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, that you are now there. Okay, and the same thing, I just have some instruction for the next section as well. So keep keep working on that. So the instruction here, we can say like everything that I'm going to tell you from time to time and, and keep doing on that and if possible, just record it and drop it into the group or something, but uh, not for copying, but just make sure that you have done it. And I will go and show you the answer from time to time. I, uh, I I may prepare for the uh, for the uh, I I may prepare the answer and show you through the uh, slide as well as from uh, the Microsoft Word or something. Maybe show you the answer, for example, like uh, it's a sci-fi to six. So what are the, the best answer? And then you can go and check it by yourself, maybe. I I, I do not support to go and, and, and mark your uh, your work one by one in here, but we just go and let you check your answer. Uh, for example, like uh, if you have done a design number five, and, and uh, that part, you have done it well, you, you will compare your answer with uh, the answer key and then, okay, you may learn something from this one, right? <laughs> okay, so as that you have seen all of this thing, what are your concerns, something about this one? Any doubt or question you got into this? Yes, sir. Yeah, and any doubt? Look. Any doubt? What was that? <laughs> any any concern or any question with this? Oh, any concern? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, like that, that man, sir. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Yeah, internet problem. <laughs> Uh, no question, sir. I got it all. No so question, we have okay. to quiz from seven to seven twenty, right? Yeah, yeah. So the, the quiz will be uh, through the uh, Google Classroom there. Yeah. So at seven at seven p.m., the quiz will appear in in your Google Classroom, right? So yes. I schedule it, right? Schedule yes. it uh, for yeah, 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 for seven p.m. So it will start from 7 to 7.20. So after this, it will be, you maybe you cannot submit it after this one, right? So we just have time, like in the real class time here. So 
uh, that the queen is just only uh, multiple choice. Don't worry, right? If you don't know, you also can do it. <laughs> just, just take your understanding about uh, model of three verb, right? So something, yeah. Okay. I will inform to another student to join. Chris. Of course, of course. Yeah. If you can help, okay, please. Just, just ask them to check in their Google Classroom. It's okay. Eh? Uh, okay. If they cannot be uh, in the Google Meet, maybe they can go to the Google Classroom at a time. They can start doing the quiz there. Okay. Just, just choose the by hand so for those things. It is fine. Okay. Yeah. Any question about this section? Before we no. go to uh, this. So what you have to do today, we can say after this meeting. Uh, sorry. So after this meeting, you just go. If you don't have, uh, you don't do something in all, all of these two important exercise, just go and do it, right? Go and do it to link with what you have to do today. So today we we, we have to do about one, two, three, and four things, right? Today. And in H, we can say like in number one, which I have two is assigned number five, number six. And this one only one is assigned number four on page three, five. This one, okay, it's just something there. So we can say that. Uh, this thing is what you are going to do and learn as a, the meeting time in here, right? And you can do it as your homework. And for next week, we, we will go and check and, and uh, clarify about some point that you are not quite sure with that and, and check the answer. Uh, for the answer, I will drop it into the uh, uh, next, next week. Our next session, like session four, uh, five, and six, it might be included with the uh, some slide or some document that, that talk about the answer to the exercise. All right. So what what you have done, it, it will be able to compare with uh, the answer key in here. So you can check whether you have done it right or you have done it wrong in here. All right. Okay. Clear, right? So instruction is just everything about from week to week. Just do all the exercise means you, you have done for the class today. All right? So just read instruction carefully and go through it in. Uh, if you, you are not clear or some part, maybe you can drop into the, the telegram and I will try to explain you through that one, one more time if, uh, in case that, uh, for example, like uh, if you've gone through it tonight and you're still not sure not clear with uh, point number two for example just pop it there so what what are the purpose of uh, in section number two in google classroom in here for example right okay we work online but uh, sometimes we can deal with the problem whenever we we do not have a chance to meet all right okay any question about this one before we go and talk about the uh the minor Many assignment today. It, it also important. No question, teacher. No question, right? Eh? Other? Together, no question, right? Eh? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I will stop sharing about my uh, Google Classroom in here. Oh, I, I better go through this one better.
Do you see my screen now? Yeah, teacher, I see. Do you see my screen? Yeah? I see, teacher, I see. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's a briefly about that part. Actually, uh, if you miss this part, you may also go through the uh, slide, PowerPoint slide uh, that I have explained it with uh, that part already. But this one, I, I just want to clarify a little bit before we just go and, and talk about the other question or concern out today lesson, right? Okay, so uh, about this, I just come up with, uh, you can say your minor assignment, it's just uh, all the three reflection papers that, that we are to go and, and do it in here, right? So the attitude of this, I just come up with three attitude for you. The first one, okay, like in this semester, you also learn about uh, paragraph writing, right? In uh, academic writing subject, I think. Is, is it about this one? Yes. <laughs> again, teacher, again. So, uh, as I have learned in this semester, you also learn about uh, paragraph writing, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah. So, so right now, about this reflection report, I also require you to write in the paragraph to reflect about what you have learned so far. All right? So, okay. Yeah. So something that part, and the second part, I expected it, it can be promoted as send out reflection. Since sometimes we can say, we do not have uh, much time to uh, reflect or to, to uh, we can say stop and check, right? We, we, we rarely have a chance to stop and check. So I, I do hope that this uh, three reflection paper will will uh, help you okay to build up the habit of uh, stop and check so after you have done something to check it just try to uh, okay even though it just go to bed but keep uh, to stop and check and the third reason or third attitude to fulfill the assignment requirement within the academic year I mean uh, your <laughs> learning in here right we can say like a sin in attitude, the option number two, that uh, you are not going to uh, do the midterm test or even the uh, final exam. So as a result, you have more work to do, right? Which you have three minor assignments and one major assignment, but one major, uh, the, the major assignment, I will talk and discuss about this one next week. So next question, I will explain you there. So you can go and uh, see it there. Yeah, so what you have to do for the uh, major assignment. But uh, major assignment, I prefer you to do in individual. So currently, it's just a bit hard for you to do uh, in, in group in here, right? It might be hard to meet and discuss something. So it might be individual major assignment. It just might be much better than that. OK? So, these are the, the three attitude for this uh, major assignment or reflection paper. So the task that you want to do, you should do about what? Reflection paper. Ref reflection paper. Okay. So this one is just the guideline to reflection paper or the thing you have to do in here. So your reflection papers, I forgot to put S in here. So Okay, your reflection paper, it should be Okay It should be included the following We can say the first one Your information about name, contact or email or something and Why, why, why I, I let you do this one since uh, you you may send it through the uh, email or even telegram. I can say in some case, some of you may borrow other email or other Facebook to send. So if you don't put your name, sometimes I cannot find it as well. So it, the best way, just write down your name or your contact number or email 
on that paper because they put it on the top on the part. Okay. And the textbook in here in case that. Uh, okay. So this is just the general, uh, general information about your work and about here, about what you want to include. You can say the first one, you may talk briefly about the units. You can describe about it briefly. Yeah. And it, it just might be about the, uh, it just, uh, so from uh, one, from one, uh, from one uh, unit to the other, we can say like uh, there are six units for this semester. So for one reflection report, you, you will write down about or reflect about two units, for example, like unit seven and unit H. So those things that you want to do. Right? And number two, it just uh, describe about the process of learning and teaching. It might be about your easiness or difficulties. Okay, which part that uh, really good for you, and the other part that you are chilling or struggle with that. Uh, sorry, it's teacher. Usually about. Uh, I don't see you share your screen. Yeah, you cannot see. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will share it again. So I keep talking alone in a moment. We are trying to listen carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can, can you see my screen now? Still no, teacher. Okay, Still I see no. now. You can see my screen, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Can, can you see it now? Yes, we can, sir. Sure. You can see the file here with the logo of uh, PBIU in here, right? Yeah, yes, we can see. see. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, so, so here, the, the three attitudes that uh, I have already talked recently, right? You see it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so here, the guideline, eh? you got to keep those things. But uh, here are the two things that I require you to, to write down on your paperwork. You can say you can write down your name, your contact number, or your email address, something at the top of the path, or even at the uh, Somewhere that they include with the name, right? Get textbook, you can clarify, or you can use other reference that uh, you want to talk about uh, new cutting edge or, or cutting edge after intermediate something in here, for example, right? To so show and you will reflect on unit seven and unit H. You can say, yes. Uh, to clarify, we can say like clarify in case that you just submitted late or something. But uh, now normally, as a, a deadline, the thing will become great in uh, uh, red color in the Google Classroom. Yeah, I mean uh, something. So the late submission is not accepted, right? So this thing is just a suggestion. We can say like. Uh, to, you can start with the unit description. 
Okay, so what you have learned in unit seven and what you have learned in unit eight, for example, right? And the second one, you can describe about the process of learning and teaching. Okay, what are your easiness or the easy points? And what are your difficulty or difficult points in here, all right? So you can talk by, by using your own idea, not to go and quote from somewhere, but using your own idea to talk about. And number three, Okay, how much do you understand or remember about the lesson which you have learned? Briefly summarize. So just list down, you can say just, just describe, just uh, talk based on your own memory, and then you can start doing this one. And no need to talk in detail, just list down briefly. Or you can list down only the, the if, uh, the most important point, then maybe you have learned a lot of things in your, your textbook, but just pick up only the point that you have learned the best in here. It's okay for this one, right? Okay, and number four, what have you gained from this subject after intermediate English for super more? Maybe you can reply to unit that you have reflected. So you check again, again, what you have learned in unit seven and unit eight, for example, for the uh, first uh, minor assignment or reflection paper in here, you can reflect within the framework of this uh, two unit, right? Okay, and number five, it can be talk about uh, your suggestion or, or comment or, or even recommendation regarding to the process of teaching and learning in this class, for, for example, right? Okay, maybe you can suggest something if, if you want, but if you don't have, it's fine. Okay, number six, it, it talk about uh, your conclusion or your commitment regarding to the course and study process. Okay, so what are conclusion regarding to the two uh, units? What are your commitment as a uh, that move to unit seven and unit nine or something? Uh, sorry, uh, unit nine, unit 10. So uh, along the process in here, what are your commitment to go? <coughs> but uh, this one, we can say, this is just the, the suggestion I need to include in your reflection paper. Uh, any other way, maybe uh, you can also write on your own way, but still for, follow the format of writing a paragraph or a paragraph, right? or it can be informa informative par paragraph that you just try to write and explain about the information so far, all right? Any question? Any question? <laughs> Hello? Uh, Any what question? Is yeah. No. No question. No question, then. Eh? It's the first time to to see the what the reflection paper. The yeah. For uh, the first time, right? Uh, we we can say like uh, you are not going to write yeah. from, uh, about it right now. Maybe uh, you you can uh, drafting it. And you want to submit it here, May, uh, 11 of May. Oh, sorry, 2020, not 2010, right? <laughs> 2020, right? Okay. Okay, so to change this one, just 2020. So what you want to do in here, you just, we can say like, uh, just drafting from what you have learned from now, and you can final, uh, finalize it and submit it on May, uh, 11 of May, 2020, all right? Okay, and after that, I will alert you again regarding to the second reflection paper about unit nine and 10, and the deadline of this is just uh, on uh, the 15th of June, right? So there, there are three time reflection paper and everything. You cannot write it immediately unless you've gone through uh, 
you go through the the units, right? Unit seven and eight for the first one, unit nine and ten for the second one and the second one. Okay. So this one is just only the guideline, but uh, the other part you can write by using your own uh, your own way of writing, but still focus on the the outline or the uh, format of paragraph writing. Okay, we still have what? We still have, it might be title, it might be topic sentence, it uh, about controlling idea or, or supporting idea, we can see, and conclusion. All right? So just follow on the, those things. Okay, so what did I answer to your question? <laughs> I'm not clear how to submit the assignment. Submit the assignment, right? Yes. So we, we can say like, uh, since this one, you want to reflect based on uh, all this one, based on these two units, unit seven and unit eight. All right? Yes. So in here, we can say right now we, we are in unit seven. We do not finish unit eight yet, right? So you cannot start writing that reflection paper straight away. Okay, so maybe you can draft, you can think about it, and the deadline here is just uh, nearly one month more. So at least it might be nearly finished unit eight that uh, you have enough time to write. The paragraph. The paragraph is just not quite long. We can say it's just about uh, 350 words paragraph in here. All right. Okay. So the thing that you want to write, just write and reflect about the unit that you want to learn in here, right? Uh, Do you yes, know what I mean? Uh, I got it, teacher, but I asked after we done the assignment. So we submit it into Google Classroom or another app teacher? Uh, Google Classroom. So I'm, I'm going to uh, set and assign you in the Google Classroom as a debt. So yes. as a debt, it, it will align or, or alert you regarding to the deadline. All right? So as I said, everyone just uh, submit it through the Google Classroom. Okay. This one is just twenty twenty, right? Not twenty and ten. I'm sorry for this. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> Here, the requirement you can say it must be typing. So what you need to do is just typing, not uh, handwriting. Okay. So it might be challenges for the one who do not have the laptop, but if possible, you better better uh, afford and buy one laptop. In uh, the uni university life, you cannot study without laptop in here or, 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 or desktop or personal <laughs> computer, right? Okay, so maybe you better try. Okay. So typing it, a paragraph writing format, about 350 uh, words paragraph, you can say. So I, I do not prefer regarding to the uh, pages. In pages, sometimes you try to make uh, a font size differently. Like I, I used to do only twelve font size, but but you put like, some of you may put like fifteen or even fourteen, right? To to make uh, the number of page uh, number of pages are increasing. So you just try to make it or adjust it something. In here. So in here we change the word count. Okay. And your work must be uh, the line and paragraph spacing in here to 1.5. The line here, line from this line, uh, line A to line B. So when you, you put it uh, 1.5, it will be how the big space for this one, right? Have, have you ever tried to do this one? Yes, I have to check. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. So maybe you can learn and explain each other about this one. Okay. And matching, matching to two centimeter all the side, left side, right side, bottom, uh, and the top of this one, okay, just 
two, right? Okay, maybe I, I suppose to uh, maybe only one page, one page uh, reflection paper, or even uh, one page, a little bit. <laughs> but but paragraph sometimes it just only uh, cast out the page, it's just enough for that one, right? A paragraph. I hope that you will not write a paragraph with three pages paragraph, right? Yeah, <laughs> teacher. Yeah, yeah. So, if if uh, that length, it might be about the uh, essay writing rather than paragraph writing, right? Okay. So in here, it must be your original writing. Okay. To, to me, I prefer your hardworking and your original work, not your uh, not the perfect work or excellent works, but what. What is your best? We can say what uh, you have done on that reflection paper. It is your work, your own work. Even it is uh, actually or even messy something. But I hope that after you have done it, after you got the comment from that part, you may you may have a chance to learn to learn from those things. And then your paragraph writing will be improved based on that part. Right? Okay. You will get zero mark if uh, found cheating or copying from other, right? So actually, I can say like it's just easy to check whether you copy from whom. Currently, it's just not really hard to check in here, especially about like a free writing like this one. It's just really easy to check, right? So try to do your best. Okay, about. A uh, last submission will not be accepted. So if you late to submit, like for example, like uh, for the first reflection paper, which is on uh, the 11th of May, 2020, right? So if you late after that, I mean, you cannot get any mark for this one. Okay. It must be handed in both PDF and uh, Microsoft a free file, you can say why I need both. Since if you send the docs, it might be hard for me. Some some part it might be hard since uh, different laptop, different desktop. It might be jump, uh, jump up. Here and there are really messy margin or something, right? Like uh, my layout, it might be not be with the layout. So I say I send it through those social media and then it will be jumping here and there. Okay, so that's why to be safe, you better save in PDF file as well as that one. But that's, it might be easy to, to comment or something. Okay, so any question about this one before we go? Yeah? No teacher, no, no question. No? Together? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> or, but the teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you scroll up a, a little bit here? Scroll up. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one. Um, um, about the the sixth point of the instruction of uh, writing um, reflection paper. I, can you explain it again? I, I cannot understand. About number six? Uh, yes, teacher. About this one, eh? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, this one we can say, like in your paragraph writing, you should have conclusion sentence, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah. So you can, you can conclude as well as your, your commitment. We can say, show your commitment, for example, like uh, I say, I have learned that I, I did not learn much about the two unit, for example. So I commit myself to try to study hard for next uh, unit, unit uh, nine and unit ten, uh, or as a whole course in here. I will try to study uh, harder and harder over time, for example, right? Okay, here. Yeah. So it's just only this one. But, but this one is just the idea, only uh, the tip for you to write. But uh, I still yes. suggest you to do, uh, you, you still have your choice or option to write 
by using your own way of writing. I, I don't uh, limit you by uh, number one to number six in here. All right. So you you have your your way of writing. You can put number two first or number one first. It's up to you. But okay. It must be follow follow the guideline of paragraph right paragraph writing. I can make paragraph writing. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this one. Any other question? About uh, a requirement in here. Please pay attention to deadline. To number three. Number four. All right. Really important here. Right. Must be your original word, original writing. But okay, you must be on time. That is not accepted, right? Okay, so you can look at uh, part number four about rubric. Rubric means the way that I'm going to score, I'm going to mark you. For example, like uh, your topic sentence. So you, you need to come up with your with your uh, clear topic sentence. So what are the, uh, what are the good topics and then for your paragraph writing about your reflection paper? All right. And I hope that you can learn about how to write a, a topic sentence or how to choose a topic sentence very well, right? Why why do we need topic sentence? Why why do we need that? That because okay. so your topic sentence will tell you about out of the topic. Yes, of course. You can see just, just just limit your your way of writing, limit the length of writing. If you don't have a good or clear topic sentence, again. Okay. You will write very, very long paragraph or essay writing. You cannot hit the point in here. All right? So those things that are very the important of a topic sentence here, right? So maybe you, you can get only one score for that part if your topic sentence is not clear or unclear. We cannot come up with your topic sentence. You may get only two marks. A score in case that you you just introduced to the topic sentence but the focus is unclear you should have the topic sentence but your your focus or your controlling idea in in a topic we can say topic sentence which I have topic and controlling eye controlling idea is not clear so you can need to okay introduced to the uh, topic sentence it show it show about the, the topic sentence but it's, it's just some way maybe it's not strong enough in here in this one we can say clearly introduce the topic sentence we just show it clearly there yeah? but that is one way that and you may get four marks for this one okay so the same thing maybe you can read i i'm not going to uh, go through it detail maybe you can read from this one so for example if i uh, give you regarding oh. the uh, score regarding to the supporting idea if you get one because of what this is the reason two this is the reason right so something in here so i'm going to look through topic sentence supporting idea explanation analysis okay how can you explain okay you may come up with uh, there are three best places to visit in Hong Kong. But uh, for for the first one, you just tell only the name. You did not describe or explain something. So this one is just about your explanation. Okay. And one last part of paragraph, just about conclusion. So how can you conclude your your paragraph? Okay. Maybe you can read this one. Informal tone and style. Okay, informal language present throughout. Eh? 
you get it? So what what are the informal language use? For example, you may use uh, uh, English for local my, right? Okay, or Khmer, Cam or Cambodian something. So that's why I just like uh, uh, informal for informal way of writing. Okay, you can see in here what are they, and organization and transition. A little no attempt at organization. So how 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 can you write a good or organ organization or paragraph? So how how many times uh, do you indent in a paragraph writing? Uh, for how many times? Indent as many times as possible, or just only one single time? Only one time. Only one time, right? So if you show that, it's just one way of uh, paragraph writing. Organize organization, which is good. And what are the transition? What 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 trans transition mean? Transition. Like what? Uh, the first, the second, moreover, in addition. So all those things that you use it to link it from one idea to the other. To the other one, right? Ten, so, ten, ten. pardon? Oh. Okay, what, what, what is your question? Okay. Uh, the other part we just focus on mechanism, like uh, or, or, or mechanics about spelling and grammar. So spelling and grammar, you see with this one. But uh, as we use and type in computer, some, some part, it does those uh, grammar, grammatical error or spelling mistake, it, it might not appear in here. It's in, uh, in Microsoft Word, some part it has uh, all uh, grammar we call correction or spelling correction in here. It will underline the red color. So, so you put the cursor there and you click on the right mouse clicks, it will show the option of answer for this one. So the mistake may be uh, reducing to uh, that part. Eh? So here, the way that I'm going to score your reflection pay, uh, reflection paper, all right? I do not read and see your face or see your paper and use the uh, ruler to to measure for how how long that you have uh, written the paragraph in here. Not being so, right? I just look at that's not this one. And then give you the score. Did you get one? In one. Something wrong with the topics and sometimes then. Any question before we just go in the time nearly up to the quiz? <laughs> Any question? No. No, teacher. No. And this week, I, I did not do it by myself. I just quote from here, right? So you can go. Okay. I really like this quote, right? That's why I want you to do reflection paper. We can say, without reflection, we go blindly on our way. Creating more unintended okay. consequences and failing to achieve anything useful, right? So that's why we need to build up the habit of reflection. Build up the uh, a sense of reflection in here. So as we have done, just reflect. Avoiding from go blindly on our way. What is wrong? You still keep doing it wrong again, right? So those things. Get a quote. <laughs> Any question? Yes or no? No, teacher. No, right? Yeah. Good. So I stop sharing this if you have still some doubt. Just keep going on. So again, we will see how we have we will have three different deadlines for but this re reflection paper, right? Okay, so 
maybe you, uh, you can see this uh, guideline in the Google Classroom as well as the uh, explanation through the slide. Okay. I will stop sharing here. Okay, so any other question? Yeah. Uh, when you pause the question. pause or upload the like PDF file or like slide on Google Classroom, you can I see uh, you, your YouTube video and we need uh, like a uh, PDF file with the uh, YouTube video. Sure. Okay, okay, so uh, I will put all of them, it's okay. Or, oh, okay, maybe PDF file, it will be much better. Okay. Mirror assignment. <laughs> okay, it can be, it can be like the mirror assignment. Okay, it's fine, for that I will uh, upload uh, the other thing. Since uh, we can say why I prefer that one, since if we use a slide, some of you may not be able to uh, to go and see it there. Since you need to download and you just go slide by slide and you need to click on uh, the overboy record there uh, in order to in order to uh, to listen, right? It's okay. I, I will uh, use this one as what you come in here. And the other thing. Any other? No question. No question, no answer, right? <laughs> no, teacher. No, right? All? Okay, so maybe that's all for the day. And uh, since we still have around four minutes to prepare for your quiz in the Google Classroom. So are you ready to go there? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so can. please announce and tell your classmate the one who, who did not join in this uh, real meet, meeting time in here. So go and uh, start doing uh, the quiz there. Yeah? And don't forget to practice to do exercise, some exercise in uh, session uh, last week and this week. And we will check the answer next week, right? Do you got what I mean? Okay, we, we will spend around 30 minutes next week to, to talk and discuss about your exercise as well as to show you the exercise. And we're going to go and talk about your major assignment next week as well, right? So be ready to read the instruction in Google Classroom carefully. If you are not clear, please ask me in the group. And please invite more people to join in the, the uh, Telegram group for upper intermediate, only for super more, right? For class monitor, please have to push your classmate to come in. <coughs> okay, so we better leave the meeting now. Okay, your friend just come and we will say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Say yeah, goodbye and just go to the uh, Google Classroom and start doing your quiz, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. See you next week at the same time on goodbye, Monday, sir. right? Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. 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 Yeah, goodbye. <coughs>
Okay. 